guys, welcome to the Dallas Veg Fest 2020 virtual edition. My name is Danielle Sanders and I am a registered diet technician. And today I'm excited to show you a fun and exciting recipe called soy braised winter squash. So I'm gonna go over the ingredients before we get cooking. I've already measured out everything so you can see what it looks like. First, you're going to need one tablespoon of canola oil, three tablespoons of low sodium soy sauce, three cloves of garlic minced, a tablespoon of fresh ginger peeled and minced. I've got those here. And then you're going to need four green onions or scallions, whatever you like to call them. Now, when you're dicing your green onions, make sure that you separate the white end from the green end. And you're gonna to wanna to put the white pieces in with the garlic and the ginger and then save the green pieces for garnish at the end. You're also going to need a tablespoon of mirin. It's this. You're going to need about six to eight dried mushrooms. I've used shiitake mushrooms, a quarter cup of dried apricots, and you're gonna to wanna to give those a rough chop, a cup of vegetable broth, and then the squash. So I've used butternut squash you can use any winter squash you like, um, acorn or kabocha. I chose butternut because it's what I found in the grocery store and you can usually find it cubed already. And then lastly, you're going to need some sesame seeds for garnish as well. Okay, let's get cooking. Okay, so I moved everything over to the stove and you're going to need a large stock pot or a Dutch oven and you're gonna to wanna to heat it to medium high heat and go ahead and put your one tablespoon of canola oil in there. So mine's already hot, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, first we're going to add our green onions, garlic, and ginger to the hot oil. And we're gonna saute until the mixture becomes fragrant. You're going to want to continue stirring so everything doesn't stick. already starting to smell the garlic and the ginger. So the garlic's going to start to brown a little bit and that's when we're going to go ahead and add our squash. So we're going to let the squash saute until it gets a good char on the side. That's gonna take anywhere from three to five minutes. Some squashes may take a little longer. I went ahead and microwaved the butternut squash before I added it, just so it will cook a little quicker. All right, I can tell my squash is starting to get that char on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some of my other ingredients. I'm going to add my soy sauce and the mirin. Then I'm going to stir in my dried apricots. And then you're gonna add the vegetable broth. So once you add the broth, it's gonna kind of calm down a little bit. You're gonna to wanna to give it a nice stir. Go ahead and stir in the mushrooms. And then we're going to reduce our heat to about medium and bring it to a simmer. That's how we're gonna let that squash braise. And we're gonna let it go until the squash is tender where you can poke it with a fork or your spoon and that'll take about 20 to 30 minutes. All right, and there you have it, our finished product. And you can top with your sesame seeds and the rest of those green onions, just sprinkle all on top, our soy braised winter squash. If you like this, you can find it and other recipes at www.thedallasvegfest.com.